Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 17 tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create TikTok videos. So for this video, I'm gonna create like a funny meme. So actually a couple months ago, my doorbell was broke. So anytime somebody, you know, pressed the bell, you know, at the front door, the bell wouldn't ring, you know, up here. So then when it got fixed, I found a video where people were freaking out about something. So I thought like, okay, let's just film that I'm going to ring my own bell. And then I'm gonna also film how the bell rings up here in my apartment and then let's just put that video on top of it on the right where people are freaking out because it was broke for months i was just calling up the people that are responsible for this apartment when are you coming to fix it yeah we're coming to fix it and it just didn't come and it took like months to get it fixed so i thought like okay let's just make this reaction video that it's finally working so this is basically the video that i'm talking about <laughs> Open, you take that jump. No way. Don't feel the fall. There's no way. There's no way. Open the water no way. rises. You build to wall. No way. I created that one actually a couple months ago and I thought like, okay, for TikTok, let's recreate this one and show you how it's filmed, how it's edited and all that. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let's get started on this TikTok video right after the intro. Okay, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 17, those are basically the three clips that we're gonna use. This is the first one of me filming how the doorbell rings. As you can hear. Then we have the second one, where we have only the people on the right when they're freaking out. You take that jump. With the song, obviously. And then on the right, we have the part where I'm standing downstairs, where I'm pressing the bell. So now it's actually a matter of actually timing these. So it starts off with the bell clip. So then we're gonna cut it. There we go. We split it, put it to the beginning. Let's play it back. So then what we need to do is we're gonna cut it right here and we need to cut to that next part where the bell is ringing. And we need to actually shrink that. So let's see what it looks like right now. Okay, so now we need the people on top of it. So we're gonna create a new video track and we're gonna place that one on top of everything. And then we're gonna track the audio track one down. And then we're gonna basically first go to the track motion icon on the left and we're gonna resize this until it fits in the entire screen like that. So now we need to position this and we're gonna make sure that it's about halfway through the screen like that. So let's play it back. <laughs> Okay, so let's time it right now. Make it a little bit earlier. Okay, that looks pretty good so far. But as you can see, we need footage of them sitting here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it right when they freak out like that. And we're going to copy that and we're gonna paste it. And then we're gonna reverse it. So now it looks like they're looking a little bit longer as you can see. So let's play it back right now. And let's copy it this one as well. Then what we need to do is we're going to place the footage of the camera where we're filming our doorbell. We're gonna put that one on top of it so we can actually put these ones to the left, as you can see, like this. And what we're gonna also do is we're going to mask away this black part. We're gonna click on the events pan crop icon of that doorbell footage. 
and we're going to hit mask at the very bottom and then what we're going to do is we're going to select everything that we need right here so then we're going to make it sure that it's nice and matching just like that we have also some black right here so we're going to fill that up so we're going to also create another video track to place this one on top of it and we're going to make this one a lot bigger so we're going to click on the track motion icon and we're going to just make this one bigger until it fits in the screen like that But as you can see, I stopped filming right here and cuts to black. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and copy this one and we're going to paste it again. We're going to also reverse this clip, copy this one again like that. And we're going to just keep repeating that until we have this end line right here. So then we're going to just copy the reversed one, copy the normal one, copy the reversed one. We just want to keep doing that so we can actually just fill up that space. And then we're going to lower the volume of these clips. And that's basically how you can shrink it all the way to the end. Boom, and let's trim it at the end. So this is what we've created so far. Hoping you take that jump. No way. Don't feel the fall. There's no way. There's no way. Hoping the water no way. rises. So guys, that's basically how it's done. Another option that you can do is instead of shrinking this one really big, is you can go to the track motion icon, restore this box, and then you can basically duplicate this track and you can just make the bottom one a lot bigger. So it's actually like underneath it, as you can see. But we can also add a Gaussian blur. So we're gonna go to the video effects tab. We're gonna scroll down until we see Gaussian blur. We're gonna drag on the medium onto the bottom one. As you can see, oh, that's a little bit too much. Let's just you know, try a light blur. I think that one is actually pretty good. So let's play it back. <laughs> When you take that jump, no way. don't feel the fall. There's no way. There's no way. Hoping the water no way. rises, you build to all. No way. So that's basically how it's done, guys. It is really, really simple. And it's just a matter of timing. I mean, I have like another clip where I'm like smashing a door into like the face of another girl. I'm just going to pull that up. This is basically another one, you know? I just cut the screen in half where I'm walking in with my cup of coffee and then just timed it when that, when that door hits the, you know, the head of the girl. So now that we have finished making our video, now you're probably wondering, how do I get this from my computer onto my TikTok profile on my phone? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select everything that we want to export. So then we're gonna go to file at the top and then we're gonna hit render as. So I would actually pick a square resolution for this video and not 1920 by 1080. So we're gonna pick the internet's 1920 by 1080 30p we're gonna hit customize template and then we're gonna change up the resolution so by clicking on frame size we're gonna hit custom frame size then we're gonna pick the width is going to be 1080 and the height is also gonna be 1080 as well now we can give this a name for example TikTok render preset now we're gonna click on that diskette icon to save our preset we're gonna hit okay and now we're gonna hit render okay so fast forward to our video being fully exported now what we need to do is we need to get this video onto our phone so what i would do is i would just download the google drive app on your phone whether it's iphone whether it's android and i would just go to your computer and open up your browser and go to google drive okay so we're gonna create a new folder let's just say that we're gonna call this one tiktok videos then we're gonna hit on create so the only thing that we need to do is just click on our bell meme and we just need to drag that into the google drive folder and then it will start uploading and how long that takes depends on your internet speed and everything when that's done uploading you just want to go onto your phone on google drive and you want to go into folder save that into your camera roll and then you're free to upload it onto tiktok and that's basically how you can do that as well so guys that's it for this video now you 
guys know how to create TikTok videos or at least how to create videos that you can post on your TikTok channel. That's basically it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. And like I've mentioned, if you want to get like some awesome effects that you can overlay on your TikTok videos, make sure to check out Production Crate. It's completely for free. But if you want to have like access to like premium effects, you can get yourself a pro membership for only four bucks a month. That's like just one last cup of coffee every month. And that's basically what you can do as well. The link is down below. Thanks a lot for watching. That's all I have for you guys today. And I'll see you guys obviously on Monday.